Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over my top three stocks that I feel are set to double sometime in the near short term future in uh, at least minimum the end of 2022. Uh, before we get into it, just to reiterate, not a financial advisor, make sure that you do your own research before investing. Also, if you find value in the video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, and hit the notification bell. That way, YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. So other than that, guys, let's dive right on into it. Okay, guys, so number three on the list is IQS tail ticker symbol IQST. Uh, based on previous chart patterns, for one, I feel like this is going to easily double, maybe retest a dollar in the near future. Uh, but also we have so many good things happening recently, just four days ago, uh, they released that revenue increased 40% in the month of April to 7.4 million. And uh, they continue to be on track for their uplisting to the NASDAQ, okay? And if you look at the charts, uh, we've seen in the past that usually whenever it consolidates and stays around uh, certain price points, such as, you know, 40 to 50 cents, we see a pretty decent spike in the price. So you see here, we hovered around 40, 50 cents. We shot all the way up to uh, 74 cents, which is almost a double up. Then we came back down here to about 45 to 50 and then came all the way up to a dollar five. And then for uh, quite some time down here, uh, you stayed at about the 40 cent level and then shot up all the way to almost 80 again. And now we're down here into the 30s and 40s. So I highly anticipate that we're going to get up to 70, maybe even 80 cents at some point. Uh, we just got to kind of, you know, get going. But if we get to you know, we're staying around the mid 30s, low 40s. That's an easy 60 to 70 cent uh, potential double up play in my opinion, just based on the 180 day four hour time frame. Next one up guys is Camber Energy ticker symbol CEI. Some of you already know about this stock, probably own it, maybe they traded it, swing traded it, something. Uh, for those of you who don't, give you a quick overview, then we'll take a look at the charts. Uh, Camber Energy ticker symbol CEI is a growth oriented, diversified energy company through its majority owner subsidiary Viking Energy Group or subsidiaries of Viking. Camber provides custom energy and power solutions to commercial and industrial clients in North America and owns interest in oil and natural gas assets in the United States. Viking also holds an exclusive license in Canada to a patented carbon capture system and goes on to talk about their growth strategies as we are leveraging our expertise and relationships to build a diversified organization with profitable business segments to increase stakeholder value. This balanced approach can expedite growth while reducing dependence on a particular division. Our aim is to acquire majority interest in assets or entities with current revenue streams and realistic upside potential. We intend to pursue opportunities recognizing the immediate dependence on current energy sources as well as the need to explore sustainable and profitable alternatives. Okay, so let's take a look at CEI's chart. And I'm really looking at this because uh, based on uh, the chart, what I'm looking at here, I think that it's one decent little update or PR away from having it shoot up and shoot up pretty aggressive like it's done in the past on some other type of news. Uh, so we'll take a look at that really quickly and see what that's telling us. Okay, guys, looking at Camber Energy ticker symbol CEI, you see hardly any volume. But what, what, what we want to pay attention to is here how we just consolidated and stayed and kept uh, this, you know, 45 to 50 cent mark as our overall uh, level of support. And then all of a sudden off the news here, we shot up all the way to you know, roughly about $2, okay? At one point we came, we shot all the way up to $4.85. That was crazy. And you saw how hard it fell. So if you get into this one here at these levels, make sure you're prepared to take profits. You'll look from here all the way from March all the way to now, which is basically almost three months. We've been just kind of trading sideways, right? So 40, 50, 60 cents, uh, 65 cents, whatever. So eventually something's going to come out and uh, give us some type of news to where we shoot up and potentially retest that dollar 40 mark here. Okay. And uh, that'll give you a double up play there. So this is one kind of, you know, you accumulate some shares and kind of have to wait around on uh, because whenever it starts moving, it moves up. And every time it does that, as you see, it falls straight back down. So once you hit your profit taking point, don't be afraid to cash out and, uh, and put that in your pocket because that's the best place profits are. Uh, profits go is the best place for profits is in your pocket. 
All right, guys, and last but certainly not least, Zion All Gas, ticker symbol Z N O G Z Dizzle My Nizzle. So, June 8th is the annual shareholder meeting. Um, I'm expecting that next week we start getting some momentum up to the upside and hopefully retest that 28 cent mark, maybe get through the 30 cent mark on anticipation of the annual shareholder meeting. This stock has a tendency to uh, perform a buy the rumor, sell the news type event in anticipation of things actually happening. So we'll look at the charts to kind of go over that and, um, and back up our thesis on it. Okay, guys, so if you see here back in 2020, we were at about 20 cents and all of a sudden we had the news of, hey, we got the rig, rig's gonna be shipped out to Israel, it's on the way. And then all of a sudden, boom, it just started going crazy. Okay, or, or this actually may have just been them saying, hey, we're going to purchase the rig. They haven't even shipped it yet. And the anticipation of, oh my gosh, we're getting a rig, it went from 20 to 21 cents all the way to about 88 cents. And then from there, what happened? It just started falling back down and ended up going back down to about 18 to 20 cents. And then we had a little wave up here of, you know, 66 to 65 cents. And then they had the thing on the website where you can go track the, the rig and people just piled into it like crazy, shot it up to $1.74. And then uh, at times we had some little spikes up to the upside. There was one, uh, this might've been it right here for the uh, TBN network. They were talking about uh, the Zion Oil and Gas was gonna be in the TBN network and be interviewed. So I think people thought, oh my gosh, they're gonna announce that we have oil right here. And they shot it up all the way to 64 cents. And what happened a couple of days later after they realized, oh wait, they didn't actually go over anything about uh, the testing or the completion of the well, it started falling back down. So what we could potentially see, um, you know, coming into next week is we hold above that 25 cent mark and we start rising up to about 28 to 30 cents. Okay. That's what I'm hoping that we see. That necessarily mean we will see it or we could just continue to trade sideways and people kind of wait on the annual shareholder meeting. I'm hoping that we do see some excitement and people kind of get in. Uh, but on the flip side, I'm really, really hoping uh, that, you know, we stay steady and we don't just shoot up and fall back down. I would actually rather what we're doing now, this slow and steady pace and move to the upside. Uh, and then hopefully they can come out and give us some good material information on June the 8th. So anyway, guys, just wanted to give you that quick update. This is currently at 25 cents off of some good news. Easily, easily pop up to 50 cents and get a good double up play on your money here. So I just wanted to give you those three stocks. Let me know your comments below. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.